Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Jeb, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thanks so much for your time. <laughs> it's good to be here. You know, it's holiday slash winter season, and you know, people are getting ready for the holidays. People are debating whether a certain movie you wrote is actually a Christmas movie. And then, you know, the new year is coming around. We get more Vikings Valhalla, season two of Vikings Valhalla. It's an exciting time. I know. I gotta, I've got to write something for the summertime of the year, okay? So that it's just not a holiday thing. You know, my favorite thing, hands down, about this series is just, it's a kind of an obvious one because how it looks like i just love watching and seeing everything <laughs> you know what i mean does it still blow your mind what the end product looks like with this it's crazy it it really is you know what's incredible about it is when you go out to the set you know how sometimes uh, the, you know if if people who go to sets it, and then they see the finished product and they think it doesn't look anything like it they must have the the, yeah. the color timing must have been fantastic it, it's it's absolutely amazing how wonderful ireland looks and then how Ireland looks on screen is just mind blowing. And when yeah. you when you shoot in the mud and you shoot in the rain and you shoot in the cold and the night and everything else that we do, it looks pretty damn good. So we're very fortunate to be where we are shooting. Absolutely. In turn, it's interesting because in terms of like a source material, I mean, you're chronicling you know heroic Vikings from the early 11th century and everything. So there's things you know already. What is there some is there some stuff you wanted to do for season two that you b didn't have a chance to touch on in season one specifically, or was it just kind of continuing the story specifically and these journeys that these characters are on? Well, historically, you know, we we sort of track along Harold's path um, yeah. as it leads toward 1066 because we know he makes that big full circle. The um, and at this particular time in Harold's life, he gets thrust out of Scandinavia. He's, you know, he's, yeah. he's, you know, he thought he was going to be king, and now he's a fugitive. And yes. um, and so I think that there's something really cool about that. I I wanted to I wanted to grab onto that with all three of our characters. I wanted them to all take losses at the end. They had tremendous success in season one. Le you know, Leif brings down London Bridge. You know, uh, they're, they're great things. And then it gets, the floor gets pulled out from under them. And I think that's always a cool place to start season two. I also wanted to get us out of the mothership of Kattegat and Scandinavia. I wanted to see different people. I wanted to expose our Vikings to different cultures and different looks. And, and organically, they did that. So yeah. let's, go, let's go on the road with these guys and see how it looks. Is it tricky sometimes with like source material and things that actually happen? Like, is that, is there like a push and pull sometimes with like following the story and adapting it to other things? Do you think about those things a lot? I think, I think about them all the time. And, you know, I've got, you know, a wonderful researcher and I've got, you know, t terrific historians and people like that. And I know every now and then um, uh, I'll come up with an idea where they're like, oh, you know, huh. Oh. No. But, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe that could have worked. But, uh, you know, we, we, we pride ourselves on an authenticity to the time period. You know, we, 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 we don't try to mix too many things, you know, that are too... I would never put something from the 14th century in and make the audience think, well, you know, it looks yeah. English, you know, whatever like that. It, 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 we, we're very... We've got a lot of people who take a lot of pride in the accuracy of what we're... of the product that we're trying to do. At the same time, there, you know, history has a lot of gray area, you know. Yes. Uh, so I don't, I don't mess around with the facts. If 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 a thousand men went on to into the battle and in eight hundred of them were killed and two hundred of them were left, I don't, I don't change those numbers. But a yeah. thousand men went into the battle, and I guarantee you there were a thousand individual tellings of that battle. And you yeah. could have two guys fighting right next to each other, and they would tell two different stories. So that's what we know about oral history. So there's a lot of good area that I feel very comfortable playing in, as long as I get the main pieces right. Oh, 100%. So well said. And, you know, season two of Vikings Valhalla, January 12th on Netflix. It was an honor and privilege to speak to you, Jeff. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks a million. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.